Hey, Matt here. So let's talk about how you can use Excel to easily create spin text that can be used with Scrapebox and Scrapeboard. So in Excel, if you were to take and put your list of URLs over here, and then your list of keywords over here, you can have Excel join together and add spin text brackets and separators and the whole nine yards to make it simple and easy. So what you're going to do is first tell Excel that you want to use the equals key and make this cell equal information and input from other cells. And then you're going to quote in the character that you want. So we're going to put a quote and then the spin text bracket and a quote. That'll start our string. And then we're going to use the ampersand key to tell it to, that we want to use a cell and insert that data from a cell. In this case, we're going to use D2 here. So hit D and then 2. And then close that out with the ampersand. And that tells it to bring in uh, the data, which it highlighted here in D2. And then we do another quote and put our end bracket and quote that. And then hit Enter. And it brings in this data and adds the spin text brackets that were in the quotes to it. Now, since this is just actually a um, formula in this particular cell here, not really this text as you can see up here, I can copy and I can go here and just paste. And what it will do is it'll bring in and it'll adjust as you see I go through here to keep it all on the same line and bring it over. And so you just paste your formula there and it automatically brings over all your keywords and brackets them there for you which is super easy. We can also put together multiple keywords which is nice we just need to put each keyword in its own separate cell and so we're gonna do the same thing equals and then we're gonna quote our bracket in and then we're gonna start with our ampersand and we're gonna start with D5 here and we're gonna put in D5 whoops D5 and close it out with the ampersand and then we start with this one and then we're gonna put another quote and we're gonna put the, the uh, pipe key the separator and then we bring in the next one which is E5 and close that out another separator and then bring in the next one which is F5 and then close that one out and our spin text brackets in quote and hit enter and away we go and it takes each one of these keywords adds the separators and adds the spin text brackets and you can see it just looks like that where we have everything through there then I can also copy and paste and it does the same thing for all my URLs now you would want to make sure that you have if you use this formula you have to have um, each respective line so if I have three keywords I can use this if I then have only two keywords on my next line I'm gonna to need to make a separate formula for that so you know one formula for all your single ones one for all your triple ones one for all your double ones etc and then this, this should work in the open office equivalent of Excel which is free if you don't have the Microsoft Excel version which is a, a paid licensing uh, you can get the open office one I haven't tested an open office one but most other formulas work just the same so this should work as well um, and that is a great easy way to make Excel do all your spin text work for you then you can just grab these and copy them and then we just have to go and paste them right in notepad and away we go and we're ready to go. Now you'll notice that the, some of them are going to have a larger space here, almost like a tab. Uh, that'll work fine in Scrapebox, Fast Poster, and Slow Poster, it, uh, as well as in uh, Scrapeboard. It will delineate um, this and know what you're talking about. Also, it should work fine in the Link Checker um, as well if you should have a problem ever in a Link Checker because this right here will work fine but if you add extra formatting it may not work fine so if you type in some hand typed stuff and then some of Excel stuff and mix it together Scrapebox for instance might have a bit of a hard time in which case you can simply when you go to check links you hit this um, and let me load up a file here real quick you hit check links you hit this match on domain only and rather than grabbing the whole long string URL um, as well as the spin text and everything, it'll just grab this first part. So in this case, it'd be lowmotor.com, um, and it'll match it up, and that'll work for you. So you can use that, um, but that's not going to be an issue if you're using just Excel created formatting, just if you start mixing in hand formatting and different things. So hopefully that'll save you quite a bit of work by using the... Uh, spinnable formula there in Excel and let it do all the spin text for you instead of you hand coding everything.